um, I just saw this creep up on my feed and I thought they looked pretty good because it kind of reminded me of an era when, you know, Adidas were doing bits and he thought that this sneaker was going to be around for ever. And I actually watched a, <coughs> a pretty interesting YouTube video about it. Um, it's the Adidas Ultra Boost. Um, it's had a bit of a tumultuous, a bit of an up, up and down, um, you know, situation within sneaker culture. It feels like some people kind of gone off the shoe. It never really kind of recovered since the first drop. I'm not sure why. I remember the video on YouTube pretty much laid through some examples. If I can find exa- if I can find a clip, I'll put it in the show notes so you can click it yourself. But a fairly good um, in-depth video about it. But again, I hadn't really kept much, you know, abreast about what was going on the Ultra Boost, and then I saw this 2021 uh, version pop up online. I thought, wow. So they're obviously doing a big push with this i think i've seen it worn by a few people and obviously they've got some paid ads everywhere but this is i just saw sort of popped up on my stream and i thought oh this, this actually looks legitimately awesome and shape wise kind of reminds me of the best bits of the original ultra boost updated because part of the thing that i kind of hated on it looking at it now was that the original ultra boost sort of like had this thing where you were really toe heavy when you were sitting when you were like walking so when they were on the shelf they looked pretty cool but when you put them on your foot you sort of had this thing where like you're walking on your toes or the palm of your foot and it made the shoe look bizarre but i like that what they've done here it looks like they've kind of created a bit more of a kind of rocking shape similar to the new running shoes nowadays with the carbon plate that kind of allowed you to sort of spring forward so it's a bit more of a u rocking shape that i'm assuming that you know it still doesn't mean the sole super thick i'm sure most of it is kind of vulcanized to a bit so you know the actual midsole probably is somewhere around there but i love the shape of it i love how it sits it looks really brilliant um and i'm a big fan of it and i actually wouldn't mind wearing a pair day to day so this is what it says here a sneak peek at the adidas ultra boost 2021 from stress rest kicks it says as we edge closer and closer to the end of the year it looks like the free stripes is already thinking about the future of its flagship runner with the adidas ultra boost 2021 the latest and greatest ub to drop since the 1.0 it retains the same sleek nines as the original but with a futuristic flair that is sure to turn heads for sure definitely like that um oh that's a us 11 oh bloody hell it looks pretty decent for that size isn't it I'm not gonna lie uh unveiled by japanese sneaker inside the us 11 oh it's from someone us 11 cool the ub uh 21 features a sock like prime knit upper that bears a strong resemblance to the uz boost 380 seen here is a free unique color schemes and the midfoot cage has been given a semi translucent finish which grooves along with the toe box and keeps things streamlined to the back you'll find a heel cap that's been simplified with a brand new ultra boost branding and rounding it off is an adidas boost midsole that's chunkier than ever this is then lined with a continental rubber outsole for durable traction with every step finalizing the design but yeah i love that man it looks fucking beautiful the translucent cage as well looks pretty impressive um i like this sort of like primer knit thing they've got on the upper these that's both colorways look pretty nice <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that um it's interesting that most of these runners or most of these kind of daily wearers the original colorways that come out of them are usually the best and then whenever they drop more during the year they kind of get progressively worse and worse so if you're a fan of this shoe what you probably should do when they drop is make sure you double up on the colors that you like because more often than not they're not going to release them again or they'll release one that maybe was a you know the big seller but yeah, I like all three colors, man. Really nice. And then you've got this sort of like denim color. You've got this white with vault green, which is kind of harking back to the old school runners. And then you've got this classical sort of minimal color with this nice lavenderish midsole. I love it. Um, while it's not much else is known about the U- Ultra Boost 2021 at this moment in time, we know for a fact that they'll hit shelves towards the end of the year. Let us know what you think. Yeah, I love them, man. I'm, I'm a big fan of these. I think they look brilliant. Um, again, maybe not probably maybe not the best idea for me to wear considering how wide my feet are but i'm hoping that they're a bit wider on the forefoot than the original older boost which is another thing that i kind of had an uh, a problem with i'm a fan of them being kind of a sock shoe so again easy to wear day in day out and because again i i remember man I, I wore the hell out of my original um 
Adidas NMDs. Remember the France kind of colorway with the black upper or the dark blue upper with like the red and blue bits on the side. Like I wore the hell out of that. That was one of my favorite shoes. Um, but you know, it just didn't last long enough. The boost material in the midsole effectively, you know, went out maybe after a couple of months. It completely capitulated, especially depending on how heavy you you landed on either foot. Um, but so I'm hoping that the boost material on this will be a lot more durable in that regard. Um, that would be cool to see. It looks like a two-piece heel. Is that just the, the part of the design? I'm not too sure. But so far, all three colorways I'd easily take. Again, if you're a fan of these, make sure you double up on them because for sure, when they start releasing the other colorways you're not a fan of, you won't be able to get a pair of these for love, no money. Yeah, these in all black as well. Oof, just imagine, imagine. Yeah, big fan of these, man. A big, big fan of these. Hoping to see more info about them when they drop. 